All right, in this video, I'm going to show you some customization of uh, the tooltips, the labels, some things you can do to kind of uh, accentuate certain features, okay? So I'm going to actually do a fresh one just so we can reinforce our learning. And I'm going to create that bar chart again. So I'm just going to grab category, put it in rows. Uh, let's grab let's grab segment. Let's put it in there. All right, so I've got the three segments. And let's going to go, let's go ahead and grab sales. Sales, sales, where did I put sales? Oh, hang on. that should be in the measures, okay? So sales, let's grab and put that there. So now I've got my bar chart. I'm gonna add some sales labels, okay? Let's go ahead and drop that in label, All right? And that's kind of like the standard thing. Now, sometimes you're gonna want something different. Now, when I go into the tooltip, it's only gonna show me the three things that I've actually introduced in my data. Category, segment, and sales. But you can actually add as much stuff as you want in there, right? You really can. And so it's a matter of customization. So here's how you do it. In terms of the label, you can add as many things as you want to the label, okay? I'm actually just gonna space this out, right? And I can just grab between the words and space it out a little bit, just so we can see a bit more, right? I can have the number, but I can also have the category. So let's say I put category in there. I can grab it and drop it on label. All right. So now I got it in there. I can move the order, right? Like so. I can even add profit if I wanted to. So drop it on label, right? And the reason it's done that is because it overlaps with the next one. So there's two things you can do. One is you can space it out a lot more, right? Which is kind of annoying because now you got to scroll, right? Or the alternative is if you click on label, you click on this option here, allow the labels to overlap. The only problem is they now overlap, which doesn't look very nice, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna untick that. I don't like that option. Let's get rid of the furniture office supplies because we already know what it is. It says it right here. So let's get rid of category. I just grab it, drop it outside, okay? So now I've got it in there. Now these values are a little bit confusing, so why don't we label them, right? So here's what you do. You click on label, and you're going to see all these features. Um, the first one I'm going to start with is alignment. So if I click on left, you can see it puts it all on the left, or I can put it all in the middle, or I can put it on the outside. Same thing with lower, middle, and upper, right? Let's say you have vertical bar charts. Again, same property. You can make these rotate. Uh, totally useless in this case because you'd never do this, right? You don't want people turning their heads. Uh, wrap text is when you have really when it's like really long and you want it to jump to the next line. Again, not something I really want to do. All right, so let's select automatic for that again. That's the first thing. The next one is I can actually change the font, right? There's heaps to choose from. One thing I wish that Tableau did do is actually show the, what the font looks like in here, uh, like they do in Microsoft Office, which is good. Um, you can change the font size, right? I actually don't like doing it here. Right? I actually prefer to do the formatting in this one right here. So you click the three dots and you're going to come up with this little window. And here you can really customize things. So for example, um, actually before I say that next thing, these are calculations, right? These are like variables. These will fill in with the value. So sales is that one right there. Okay. And then profit is that one right there. So this is a reflection, oh sorry, this is a reflection of this one on the right, okay? So then if I go something like sales, and then I go profit, I could do something like that. So I go apply, so I can see all of them now say sales or profit. Let's say I make these bold, I go apply. So now they're all bold, right? I could even do something like comma, and bring them onto the same line. I just press delete. Now they're on the same line. So there's heaps of things you can do. One of the things that um, people like to do, which I've, I don't really do myself, uh, maybe I should, because it looks pretty cool, is you make these ones a little bit smaller, okay? Right? Like so. And then you make these ones bigger to kind of accentuate kind of what you want people to look at, right? And go apply, right? In this case, it doesn't look very good, but there's other cases where you can do it. So that's one way to customize. Again, fonts, size, bold, I've had underline. Um, this I'll get into in a second. I'll probably on the tooltip part, right? 
and I don't like that sizing so let's just put it on all 11 right? and go apply right you can actually also change the color so let's say profit I want it to be green and sales I want it to be blue right if I go apply again the coloring applies right? and go OK and then you're done now the next thing I want to do is the tool tip all right, the tool tip is this hover thing that appears, right? So if I click here on tool tip, right, I'm going to come up with this. Now, this, again, is a reflection of the tool tip here. So I can do a number of things. I can go, uh, let's say, comma, bring that together. I can, instead of having that as an equals, I can put that in the middle. I can put it all in the middle, actually. Let's just say like this, and let's make this higher font, go OK. Nothing changed except now when I hover, right? I have different tooltips. Again, you can change your colors, heaps of things you can do. Now, the next thing is, how do I put something in there that actually isn't being used anywhere? Okay, so let me show you an example of what that could mean. Let's say subcategory, uh, subcategory. Um, let me think of an example. Uh, let's say, oh, actually, I'll try, I'll try subcategory, see what happens. Or region. Drop region in here. All right. I'm actually going to get rid of these labels for a second. All right. Um, but let's say I drop it in tooltip. Okay. Now, if I hover right let's just get rid of these for a second I can go insert and add region okay let's see what happens now when it's a star it means there's more than one value so maybe region is not the best one to use um, let's say if I got category subcategory um, maybe subcategory will work All right so let's go insert Subcategory, let's hope this works. Again, there's multiple values. And I can't find a good one for this example, actually. Let's add category. But I think this one's something I'm already using. Right? In any case, basically what happens is if you want to introduce a label in here, into here, right, that you're not already using, you can just add it directly to the tooltip and you can make use of it. Right? You simply just press insert and then you insert that value in here okay and that's it that's how you can do some additional customization i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time